What's up, YouTube land? 94.95 Mustang. Bad fan. Okay, so I want to give you guys a very detailed account on how to change the fan to a manual switch inside the car. Okay, so let's go over what happens first. Originally from the factory, this control module here controls where the fan comes off and on, which is controlled by the PCM inside the passenger side of the car, which is also controlled by a couple of sensors here. So that failed. I changed all the sensors, worked for a little while, failed, causing head gasket failure. So in order to avoid that from happening again, I wired the fan to a switch inside the car near the shifter. So what we had to do is we had to cut this wiring harness where the fan wires are. There's three wires. This is the coolant overflow sensor. Pulled it back, cut the wires. There's three wires that come out of the harness, which I want to show you guys. There's a black wire, which is the high. This is a two speed fan, high side speed or high speed middle is the ground and the orange with blue stripe is the low speed now i want to mention which i failed to mention a previous video that i made which i canned is that every joint here with the exception of these two is soldered and shrink wrapped and i highly recommend electrical solder and a high watt gun not stick when it comes to soldering the wires together so again you can see i shrink wrap these here these are shrink wrapped shrink wrapped shrink wrapped and i ran the two outside wires which is the um, low and high speed into the dash here through the grommet where the main wiring harness is to the dash sneak those in there from the inside to the outside the middle wire, which is the ground, this white wire, goes to the negative portion of the battery, which is here. So we follow that all the way here, middle part here. Okay, so let's go inside and see what I did. Again, this is just more video. You can see where I put it in. You'll see there's a white wire coming out, which I'll explain to you with the 20 amp fuse. I'll explain that here in a second. So if we go inside the car, Okay, the switch is here. It's a single pole double throw. Single pole double throw switch mounted next to the cigarette lighter, which it has to be low like that because you can see I drilled high and it wouldn't fit. There's a metal bar behind that, so there's space. So it goes in the curve of the bezel. So once you put that in there, lock everything, solder the back of it, all the clips to the back of that. The middle of it is where the power um, line goes. The two reds on the outside here, I've got the right side being the low side here. And the high side is the left side, which I'm not going to switch. And the reason why I'm not going to switch and show you guys that is because it'll blow the fuse. I've got to put a different wiring process when I start running the high speed. And the reason why you run the high is because this car has air conditioning, which needs to be fixed. So I'm not concerned with it right now. So 20 amp fuse will be fine. I put in 10 gauge wire. The 10 gauge wire is the stock size wire that comes from the fan from the factory. So get 10 gauge wire, put it in there, wire everything, solder it, shrink wrap it, ran it underneath the dash over the steering wheel, and I came up on the side right here and I ran it to the back of the bezel. Of course, you gotta pull this bezel out, bolt everything in, the switch solder everything up okay just to show you it works real good the low side put it on the white wire is back there like i said and you can see the 20 amp works fine here this is the power wire here it's got the 20 amp fuse in it that's a 20 amp switch by the way too and you can see the fan is running we'll work on the high side in a little while But this car only ran up halfway, even with no fan running, so this car should run real cool once everything's done again. 
So we controlled the fan, that, the fan controller, and I didn't like the way that was going. Again, it worked at first, but then it you know, just quit working. Anyway, YouTube, any questions, leave it in the comments section. We'll get back to you on that. And uh, hope that was a detailed enough account that you guys can uh, take care of that yourself. Thank you.